All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Zanky Zero. So, I've just picked up the game at this point, and so I'm going to be playing it on PC. So, if you notice, I'm actually like a little bit more dexterous with my cursor. Uh, yeah, that's why. Probably actually switching into full screen mode. I like playing things in borderless windowed, but I think this is actually going to be one of those games where it doesn't like it. Whoa! Hmm. Found it. Okay, Crossing Boy, we already know about that. Up we go. I really wish it would actually let me change some of my, some of my options here. Let me mess with the video settings earlier, but, uh... Island is creepy. Uh, it, it let me mess with some of the settings earlier, but what I want to do is rebalance the audio for the small amount of voice acting that we've got. Hmm. Filled with water. Well, no, it seems more like a water nice. tank. That's the water tower. This is where we get our drinking water from. A woman wearing a flower hairpin stands before me. Hello, um... Oh, my name is Rinko Suzukino. I work at my family's flower shop. She walked up to the tower and turned on the valve. Clear water spewed out, filling the plastic bottle she held. <laughs> This is how you use it. The amount of water you get per day is limited, though. Huh. I wonder how that works. No idea. I heard it filters seawater somehow. It apparently only needed small fixes to get Don't it running. Is it part of one of those missions? Yes. Yes. It was a mission from before I was brought to the island, so I don't know mu much about it. Well, if it, it only needed a little bit of fixing. It must have been put here by the TV crew. Make us play this survival game. <sighs> what do you think about that cartoon, yeah. Harto? I don't know what the TV crew is planning, but they sure put a lot of effort into all of this. Not only did they prepare that cartoon, but this entire set of runes, too? No. Oh, yes. There's that as well, but I mean, about us being the last survivors of humanity. Do you believe this is all just a setting they made up for the show? There really is no one else alive. Who else could have brought us here? You know, I was living a normal life until last night be impossible for every single human to just disappear for in such a short time. What if we've been asleep for more than one night? What? No. Oh, uh, nothing. You're probably right. This is just silly talk. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just stressed from all this heat. I start getting these strange thoughts Haruto. in my head. You should drink some water and cool your head. If you ever feel stressed out, Haruto. Rinko jogs away as if trying to flee the scene. Ugh. We've been asleep for more than one night? Can't be. I mutter to myself with a sigh. Rinko's back has already disappeared from view. Stress. When your character has a lot of stress, their stamina will decrease faster. Stress will increase when eating unfavorable food or by letting bladder or burden levels go beyond a certain level. Stress can be decreased by eating favorable food or drinking water. Make sure to manage meals and burden, so stress doesn't get too high. Okay. Uh, if I check the map, okay. So currently, we're actually still in meet and greet mode. I know the first episode was meet and greet in the first uh, in the post-apocalypse, but I there is apparently more meeting and greeting to be done. I'm just gonna wander semi aimlessly. It bugs me that I don't have this map filled out, and so Ow. having it. Having it filled out will help. This annoys me. What's this? Crossing boy. So there's. Oh wait, no, no, we got it. Okay, I guess by inspecting the thing, it filled out the that part of the map. I know it's not necessary, but like it just, I, I don't know, makes me feel better to have like a complete map. Look like we can actually go there. Reminds me, I gotta go back to Operencia as well. Uh, I got a billion things I need to cover. Not nearly enough time ever. Ah. Oh, this is uh, a garden. Ow. Of a sort. Found there it. are vegetable looking plants naturally growing here. Night. What's okay, this? there we go. Found it. I'm just gonna inspect everything. Because, yeah, if we have this whole map filled out, it's gonna make me feel. I, I just get really stressed out when I have an unfilled map. It's weird. 
On the other side of the road from the garage is a wide open space that presumably used to be a parking lot. Sachika Hirosaka is crouched there, humming as she writes something on the ground. Um, what are you doing here, Sachika? Oh, hey Haruto. Short time no see. I was looking for a good spot to build the toilet. I've looked all over, but I think this is the spot. It's close to the garage, too. Are you in charge of building the toilet? That's right. Oh, but Ryo and Rinko are, too. They're looking for materials right now. Oh, yeah, the Ryo guy was looking for a rope. And Sachika is making the blueprint, see? Look, isn't it cool? There are various diagrams and formulas scratched on the cement with what, look, what seemed to be a rock pen. I don't have a clue as to what she's writing. Maybe they're just doodles. Impressive, but maybe you should simplify it. We have limited supplies here, after all. Oh, yeah! Then I should make it easier to build. Thanks for the tip. I feel guilty seeing a young girl like her work like this while Excuse I do nothing. Me. Let me help you with that. I'm sure there will be some heavy lifting to do, too. Are you sure? You trust us now? Sachika looks into my eyes uneasily. It seems she's still concerned over the previous conversation. Sorry. Sorry about earlier. I really do want to trust you all. That's why I want to do what I can to help. Besides, who would want your uh, prosthetic arm and leg to get damaged? I hesitated for a second, unsure of how to bring up her prosthetics, but ended up saying it anyway. Uh. Yeah. We can't repair them out here, so we should be careful. <laughs> no need to worry. Aww. If the damage isn't too severe, I can repair it myself. I may not look it, but I was hailed as a girl genius, you know? I was even featured in newspapers before. Sachika? Sachika's expression, or rather the entire air around here, seemed to suddenly change. But I must say I'm moved by your sincere concern for my body. As such, I'll respond with sincerity and kind. With those words, Sachika deliberately lifted up the skirt of her one piece. No? What are you? No, thank you. Check out my stomach. This is Sachika's X shape. There's an X shaped tracking device on Sachika's belly button, just like us. The pattern and color is slightly different on hers, and it has an industrial metal metallic look to it. Comparatively, our X keys are almost like toys. In fact, they look like buttons on a game machine. There's a faint smile on her face. It was an uncanny smile, as if she was doing it just so she could enjoy my reaction. Take a better look. Yeah, all right, I get it. Cover yourself up already. <laughs> Did I go too far? No. Who? Just who are I'm you? Sachika. I'm Sachika. The Sachika everyone what? forgot. Forgot. Haruto. Haruto, there you are. Um... Did you take a look around the island already? <sighs> Ryo, Rinko, listen, there's something wrong with... Ryo! Welcome back, Ryo. Did you find the materials? Haruto says he's going to help us build the toilet. Yeah, her eye color changed, too. Huh? What? Thanks. Oh, thanks for the help, Haruto. We could use another set of hands. Yeah. Yeah, I'll help, but... <laughs> thanks, Haruto. Yep, and I'm not even on the right monitor. All right. Uh, perfect. Sort of. Ugh. Can I just imagine that? Maybe I'm seeing things from all this heat and stress. No, you are not. She had purple eyes and now she has brown eyes. That means she's evil. Are you okay? Not feeling no. too good? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. In that case, mind helping me find materials? I still can't find that rope. Oh, if you're looking for the rope, I saw a Minamo with it earlier. Minamo? Yeah. Remember that cop with the hot blood? Oh, hot bod? Sorry. Blood bot. Sorry, I've been playing too much Vampire the Masquerade. Anyway, oh man, I love turning her into an art piece. Gosh darn it. Rio had whispered into my ear. I do remember her, but for different right. reasons. I guess I'll go find her. Then, I can check the layout of the island while I'm at it. Oh, I. Sorry, wrong voice, whatever. You need anything else? I can keep an eye out. Yeah, just a few things. It should all be somewhere on the island. I'll go look for Minimo on my end, too. I'll prepare some water. We may need it for the toilet once it's ready. <laughs> Sachika will clean this place up and wait for you guys. Don't get lost, Haruto. I won't, Sachika. Hmm? I wonder, since when have I been speaking with Sachika like she's an old friend? For some reason, it just felt natural that way. Creepy. Oh, I see. Yep. Uh, nope, never mind. I was going to say, it's like, oh, uh can't explore that section because that's where the toilet's supposed to be. The answer is no, that's not actually. Explore the map. Explore the map, even if it's meaningless. I'm exploring the gosh dang crap out of this map. 
Uh, let's see. So, that was actually, seeing as, I, I, I don't know if talking about this is actually, like, ah. even worthwhile. Whoa. Ow. Ow, ah. ow, ow, open ow. gap, ocean scary, ow. can't do. Um, so, that was actually the first bit of censorship that I know of in this game. And I, I'm talking about this because I know people are going to talk about it. People always do. Uh. What was the what was the other game that people were grumpy about sat censorship? Persona to a lesser degree. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I remember a large chunk of my audience was like really annoyed by the fact that they censored it. But so that last thing with Sachika, where, well, y'all saw it. Uh, in the Japanese release, you can see a little bit more uh, down south, and I'm kind of glad they cut that for the Western release. I realized that like some of y'all want to see that, but like. Uh, keep that out of my video games. At least give me the freaking option to like turn that sort of thing off. I get really creeped out when I like run into that stuff in video games. It's like, hey, here's a underage character, and that's a little bit more of undergarment than I care to see. But that's that's not my cup of tea, and I'm actually really glad that they they censored that. And yeah, maybe it should be one of those like voluntary things or like you know free DLC and like, hey, by the way. Here's the super sketchy version for those of you that don't care or actually are into that stuff. I'm like, I don't know, I try and be semi non judgmental, but I've straight up quit series because of stuff like that. Uh, very specifically, Witch in the Hundred Nights uh, had a scene kind of not at all similar, but, you know, touched upon a topic that I'm not comfortable with. And yeah, I quit the series. More or less then and there. I think I did like a couple more episodes and I was just like, I can't do this. And, you know, I, I don't know, I'll stick to my guns. And if, you know, censorship really does bug people that much, then, you know, I guess good on you for sticking to your guns. I just don't like your guns. I will continuously praise censorship when it means I don't have to see stuff like that. Because it matters to me, kind of, sort of. It's, it's also one of those where it's like, I very much, uh... I don't know. I I realize they're not actually people, but I I always feel like it creates like this unhealthy mindset towards women. I as God, this is gender politics in video games is not a good topic. It's part of the reason why I don't like to talk about this sort of thing until a game confronts me with it. Uh, let's see. But you know, I prefer my people to be people. So like, yeah, okay. If you have like. Uh, eh, I guess I can kind of work with, like, sexy stuff in, like, a Bioware game, because you know exactly what you're getting into and everybody's, like, an adult there. Ow. Or, you know, should be. Hello. What's this? Play pipes in an open lot. First time seeing this place in person. Like, in, uh, in Mass Effect, yeah, when you have a character in a quote-unquote compromising position, you kind of, you know, it's like two consenting adults. Works fine. Anime and video games, though, it gets weird. I've had to stop watching anime. A lot of anime, because it gets, like, really fan y in a creepy way, and I'm just like, I just, I'm not interested in that. And it bugs me, because, like, there's some great, there's some great series. I, we're just, I'm filling out this map now. I'm sorry, it's just bothering me so much. I, I hope this isn't, like, too time-wasty for you guys, but once we're done with it, we're done with it, and it's, and it's all good. We don't have to look at it anymore. Uh, but I actually have trouble a little bit with the Shield Hero anime uh, that's been currently, you know, going on. I love Shield Hero. I think it's probably one of the better anime I've seen in a very, very long time. But it does sketch me out a little bit that... Uh, uh, Raftalia, the, the main female lead, was a small child at the beginning of the series, and then just kind of magically Ow. ages up. Oh, right, that's... Wait, can I can I click on this? Ow. There we Is go. This it? Uh, but, you know, it, it skews me out a little bit that, you know, Raftalia was... was a, uh, a, a child at the beginning of the series. And it is explained relatively well, and like, you know, emotionally she age, aged up pretty well too, but it's still just like, eh, I don't know. Hello? Hmm. That's odd, I thought I saw someone walk by. No, I didn't. <laughs> There's someone stepping in the sand behind me. I turn around, and in that moment, what? 
Gah! Suddenly, a hand covers my mouth and I get dragged into the shadows. Sorry, could you keep quiet for a sec? What a violent police officer. That was skillfully done, though. <laughs> I'm gonna let go, so don't yell, okay? What? <sighs> what was that for? See? Shh, quiet. Look. Man with the towel around his neck points towards what seems to be a goat. Oh my! That's the first animal we found on this island. I wonder where it's been this whole time. Yeah. That must be the food they mentioned on TV. Since you're here, how about you give us a hand, Haruto? With what? Let's go. Hunting, of course. We're gonna kill that animal. Huh? Kill? I can't do that. I've never killed anything before. That's a lie. You just got here, so you may not realize this, but we don't exactly know how long we're stuck here. We should hunt and eat whatever we can. Don't you agree? Thing is. Besides, I'm more worried about Sachi. She's not as physically strong as the rest of us. Ah, uh, I'll do what I can. Aha, uh -huh. you catch on quick, don't you, Aruto? I like that. I'm Zen Kubota, a farmer from a countryside deep in the mountains. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Yeah. Kubota. Oh, I'm not one for formalities. Zen's fine. Feels a bit too casual when I, we've only just yeah. met. All right, we haven't introduced ourselves yet, huh? I should have been more upfront, me being a cop and all. That's an early promotion. I think. Maybe they're just desperate for more cops in Japan. <laughs> Dang it, there I go again. What? I should only salute when I'm wearing an officer's cap, but it's been a habit of mine since I was a kid. She seems kind of goofy for a police officer. I guess that makes her more approachable, I guess, though. Hey! Yeah, it's gonna get away if we waste too much time talking. Arto, let's approach it from the front. Officer, could you go around behind it and block its escape? Leave it to me! 10-4, I'm used to setting up checkpoints. How's this? I'm in a lasso. We might be able to catch the goat with this. I doubt it, but you're free to try. Arto, there should be a stick around here you can use as a weapon. Should be better than fighting barehanded. A nod in response. Zen adjusts his work gloves and smiles. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> now this is survival. Equipment. Equipment can be equipped to the head, hands, head, body, and feet. Open the party menu with R to put on or remove equipment. By pressing tab while placing the cursor over an equipment slot in the party menu, the strongest equipment will automatically equip from inventory. Okay, cool. Let's take this. Combat. Press right click to attack or hold right click to perform a charge attack. Charge attacks can be used to break specific parts. Oh. Perform a charge attack with multiple people to unleash a chain attack. A cooldown time will incur after each attack, a temper temporarily preventing you from attacking again. Landing multiple hits with a charge attack will start a combo. Hunting organisms and runes can net you food items, materials, and experience. Breaking parts will also net additional rewards, such as items. While charging, press right-click again as the bar touches the pink section to fully charge all characters. Be sure to utilize both basic and charge attacks to their full potential. I'll hold it. Okay, how do I... How do I... Whip? Okay, so the goat seems to have already found us, but it's not causing problems. There we go. Uh, well, I mucked up the goat. I poorly. This is going to be rough. Ah, uh, did we get it? The goat-like animal is lying on the road, completely immobile. Oh, I didn't even need to do anything. Good job, boys. Arzo did a much better job than I expected. I thought the editors were more indoorsy. I got pretty good legs from all the business trips I've gone on for interviews. I know we need to eat, but I've never killed an animal like this before. 
No, it's still alive. Just barely. What? We should finish it off then. It won't be much help to the animal now, but I don't want it suffering any more than necessary. <laughs> Did your killer instincts awaken after you first haunt or something? We need to cut its carter uh, carotid artery and bleed it out. It'll reek otherwise. Huh. Oh, you really know your stuff, Sen. Must be because you grew up on a farm, huh? No, no, no. Well, a normal farmer wouldn't normally do stuff like this. I just happen to be a murder farmer. I'll butcher goats because we handled it handled so many in my region. Can I have the rope to hang it up? Here you go. Guess we didn't eat the lasso after all. Well, yeah. Wait, Wait hold on. I was told we need the rope to build the toilet. That's why I came to find Minimo in the first place. Oh. Ah, you're making the toilet. You should have said so. I got dragged into this before I could say a word. See? You only need a bit of rope to hang the goat, so you can take Excuse the rest. Excuse me. Got it. Do you need any help with anything else? Hmm. And stay if you want. That is, if you want to watch a goat slowly no. bleed out. Uh, that's all right. Sachiko's waiting for me, so I'll be going now. All right. Okay, I'll leave that to you then. I'm gonna watch this so I can learn something. What? Huh? I'm just getting away, you know. <laughs> you like me? Why are you being so mean, Zen? Is it because you got a crush on me? Huh? Is that it? You're annoying. What? You're so annoying. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the rope. Bye. My hands are still shaking. That animal's still alive and will be killed soon. If life goes on like this, I eventually get accustomed to taking lives. What am I saying? It's too late to be having these thoughts. I've killed already, long ago. But you said that was the first thing you, thing you killed, you dang dirty liar man. All right, whatever, I got the rope. Sachika, I got your murder rope. It was used in the murder of a thing. Hope you don't mind. Maybe we can poop with it. Oh. I'll go find all the necessary materials. Is... Oh, right! I never actually went to that, that blue objective. I thought that was the goat. I was wrong. And then the goat just came up and started just headbutting me in the, the bupkis. So what is this? Let's take this. Burden. Where the character's burden goes over their carrying capacity, they'll be unable to move. Organize your items often to avoid being encumbered. Since some members, characters not in the party, are are focused only on carrying things, they will not limit movement, even if their burden goes over capacity. Make sure to make efficient use of sub-members. <laughs> Wait. Isn't that kind of, like, awful? Hey, uh, you're not fighting, so, uh, here's everything. And they're like, oh, God. How am I supposed to do this? Sachika, here are three fridges. Carry them. And she's like, why? Oh, Haruto's back. Did you find the rope? Yeah, here. Is that everything? Thanks. Yep, that's everything. Thanks for the help. Huh? Where's Minimo? She's still helping Zen. This goat-like animal was by the building over there. Three of us hunted it down and caught it. Mr. Goat! A goat? I want to see. For real? Me too. Lead us there, Haruto. The toilet can wait. wait. No, wait. Stop. They're probably wrapping things up right now. You shouldn't go. What? Wrapping? Uh... Oh, oh, I see. We can check it out next time, Sachika. Uh -huh. What? Why? Um, because that goat is probably dead already. We'll be eating it later, so it may not be best to look for your appetite's sake. Listen here. Jeez, Haruto, too direct, man. Uh -huh. Oh, the goat's dead. I wanted to pet it. It's like this. Well, we'll die too if we don't eat. Sachika, you've only had water and fruit these past three days, right? You need to eat a real meal. Look at it this way, the goat will live on as part of you once you eat it. Aww. Really? It'll be a part of me? Thank you for being our food, Mr. Goat. Yeah! Now that I know we've got meat coming our way, I'm pumped! Let's build this toilet before it's chow time. System menu. Escape to open the system menu. Various options are there. Try opening the system menu. Why did they give it to the, this to us now? Learn a skill part one. Learning skills will enable your character to accomplish a variety of tasks. Hey, that sounds interesting. Okay. Uh, learn a skill part two. Select a skill from list. SP can be learn, uh, spent to learn or level up skills. As character's level increases, they will earn more SP. So reformer en enables base expansion. Base Expansion Part 1. Skills have been learned. Next, to go to Base Expansion. Press Space to return to the System menu and select Base. 
Oh, space to return. I did. Uh, whatever. Okay, base expansion part two. Well, the base, you can access shortcuts to the facilities on Garage Island. Oh, that's nice. Base expansion allows you to build new facilities or expand the features of existing ones. Try selecting base expansion now. Base expansion part three. Base expansion allows you to expand the facilities on Garage Island. You'll need the reformer skill and required ingredients to ex expand. So let's try building a toilet, which is needed for the current mission. Okay, so warehouse, workshop, bedrooms. Sleeping cures stench and recovers life. Kitchen for cooking. Okay, well. Toilet. We've got a pooper. Is it just me, or does it already look kind of grungy? Various facilities. There are various facilities available on Garage Island. The toilet you built earlier can be used to relieve the bladder gauge. Bedrooms can be used to heal life. Weapons, armor, and materials can be used in the workshop to create many different items. Food items can be used to cook in the kitchen. Items in the warehouse can be used when crafting and cooking. Try expanding your base as much as possible. Tutorial details can also be found in the survival guide. You'll also find hints for progression there, so check it out when you're stuck. Okay, first and foremost, options. We want to turn up voice. We want to turn everything else down considerably. Let's do like 40% and then like 50%. Next speed. Oh, can I just do entire page? That's nice. Especially because I'm reading it out loud. Autosave is on. That's good. Okay, and we don't have any more skill. Oh, we have other things. Heals life over time during the child stage. Growth stage, adult. Oh, right. I did read about this. So we can also get resolve. Leadership, sharp eye, cautious. Come back. Senior aptitude. Blunt fundamentals. So he likes blunt or slash. There's actually a fair amount of things here. Surprise attack. When landing a close range or charge attack on an enemy from behind, do extra damage. When defeating an enemy with a close range or charge attack, Cleon corruption rate decreases. Does not apply during danger state. Oh. Okay, and here we go. These are a lot more like utility skills. Interesting. I wonder if that's the only list or if that's a lot of it. I'm a little disappointed that it's like just a generic looking toilet. As we finished installing the toilet and take a rest, Rinko appears with some water. It's lukewarm, but drinking water after physical labor was... Oh. That's yeah. the stuff. Yeah. I've forgotten just how delicious water could be. I love it. And the only thing better than water poured by Rinko herself is some ice cold beer. <laughs> That's nice of you, but it would taste the same no matter who Haruto. poured it. Thanks for your hard work, Haruto. You must be tired after all that running around. Haruto did most of the work on this mission, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah, but I worked my ass off too, you know. Amazing. But Haruto brought most of the stuff we needed. <gasps> hey, I'm the one who tied Excuse the rope. Me. Uh, so did we clear that mission? I can't really tell. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If we did, that TV show would come on again. But mission aside, I'm really glad we finally have a toilet. I was afraid of being seen if we did our business outside somewhere. Is that what they've all been doing until now? Thank you. So, i just like to say thank you for helping us, even though you just got here. No. Don't mention it. I'd rather put myself to use than sit around and do nothing. And if I'm left with my own thoughts, it just get... I just get anxious. I know what you mean. It puts my mind at ease when I can just focus on a task. When I came to this island yesterday, I was downright hysterical. <laughs> Rinko, you are a hot mess. You were screaming, get away! Don't touch me! You, were, you weren't much better, Ryo. You kept saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> was I? I feel like he might have noosed somebody up by accident. It's not like that. What's with that look? You see how ripped Dr. Dr. Ichio is? I thought he was going to snap you in two. <laughs> But Zen and Yuma seem pretty calm the whole time. It's the same impression I got after meeting them. Ta-da! And speak of the devil. We turn around to find Yuma suddenly standing behind us. Yuma! Ah, Yuma, looky looky, we made a toilet. Haruto really worked hard on it. Yes. Yes, that's why I'm here. Good work, Haruto. Do you mind if In I use case. it? Oh, uh, sure. We haven't tested it yet, it's though. It's mine. 
then I shall be the first. Yeah. Go right ahead. Yuma. Yuma, you should probably take this. What is it? Huh? I would not need to replenish myself right away. Besides, water is... Well, you see... It's not for drinking. She glances at Ryo and me and then continues. It's for... Manual washing. Thank you. Ah, a bidet. Of course, thank you. A bidet. Yuma takes the bottle of water and enters the toilet, but she comes back out a moment later and... Che. TV's on to the garage. No poop. No pooping. She leaves us a message like a telegram and goes back inside. No poop for you, toilets. Toilets can be used to relieve a character's bladder gauge. Using a t dirty toilet will increase stress. Bladder. The bladder gauge increases with the passage of time and while eating. When the gauge reaches its limit, the character will wet themselves. When this happens, it'll occur, incur several negative effects, such as long cooldown times. Keep an eye on the bladder gauge so no one has any unfortunate accidents. Go pee! I honestly, I'm not so sure... I'm not so sure about the whole, like... Bodily needs. Like, feeding characters I'm fine with, but pooping... Pooping and peeing, that's... This is, this is new ground for me in video gaming. Sword. Actually, no, it's not. You know, one of the first video games I really played was uh, Digimon World 1. And yeah, you really had to worry about your Digimon just shitting all over the place. Because if it did, one, that shit was just there forever. And two, it would turn into a Sukumon eventually, or a Numamon, or like a Nanamon. None of which were really preferable. So I always had like a whole full stack of porta potties just in case. And they never used them. They poop anyway. They'd be like, no, I don't want your porta potty. I'm going to poop right here. And then they turned into a Numamon, and I'd be like, well, you're eating that poop, I guess. And they'd be like, sure thing. And then they'd eat it. It was gross. I don't think you have that in this game. I suddenly actually really want a Digimon World game kind of in this vein. I just want more Digimon World. That was a fun game. What's this? The old CRT is displaying static again. The dial hasn't moved since the last showing. It seems the channel changes every ep episode. We wait for Yuma to return from the restroom, and I turn the dial. After turning it several more notches, that program pops up on the screen again. Please be voice acted. I can't do them. Hey, kids! It's time for Extend TV! Congratulations on completing the toilet! Clap, clap, clap. Now we have a water tower, bedrooms, and a toilet all ready to go! <laughs> piece of cake! I guess the survival stuff isn't as hard as it seems. But don't let your guard down! The humanity restoration mission is just beginning! Gulp! So it's finally starting! Once upon a time... Over seven billion people lived on this Earth. But now, the human population is down to eight. You guys are the only ones left in the world. This grand plan to revive the dying human race is known as the Humanity Restoration Mission. <laughs> what? Why? Oopsie, I got all worked up, but I don't actually know what you're talking about. That's what I thought. Let me explain. Do you know what a human clone is, Sho? Of course I know what a clone is. My dad is knee-deep in them. That jerk always gets drunk and beats me. And every night, he'd get violent with my mom and... Oh, I see. Well, that got real dark real fast. Put simply, human clones are exact copies of people. So, if there was a clone of me, he'd look exactly like me? That's right. Well, you're actually a clone yourself, Sho. <laughs> That's hilarious! And I'm actually a sheep clone. You couldn't tell, could ya? Wait, 
Just a minute? Then where's the original me? Your original body died on the Day of Reckoning. But your mind is still on your belly. My belly? Y you mean... Yeah, that X key on your belly button is where your mind is stored. Oh, that. Huh? What did you think I was talking about? Anyway, as long as you have the X key, you can be revived again in a new body. Wow, this X key thingy sounds pretty amazing. Wait, so that must mean everyone watching this program is a clone too? That's right. And the humanity restoration mission can only be carried out by our clone friends. But you know, I'm still having a hard time believing everyone is a human clone. Mm-hmm. That's something you'll have to see for yourself. So, here's the next mission. Whoa! So we really are gonna make a clone? Yes. But there's something that needs to be done first. There is? What could that be? Well... Come on, just tell me already! You see, to make a clone, you need the X key on their belly, but... It won't come off unless they die. In fact, they'll die if you take it off. So, in order to make a human clone... Oh! So, someone needs to die then? That's it? Piece of cake! I'm sure everyone will understand. I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins after all. Oh! Well, that's a relief. Okay, we'll see you all later. Remember, kids. Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. <laughs>